do this. Right. Curry challenge for you, Fit Studio. Okay, so this is going to be one for the uh, old podcasty. So for the podcast today, mm. right, talking about take a break and why, why, why would I be talking about this today? Uh, but even because I think I've talked to every single client about it uh, in the last week, actually, to be fair, definitely the last three days. Should sizzle, this has come up a conversation uh, from my part because it's really, really important. Um, so literally, I've, I've told every single one of my clients to take a break, okay? The Christmas is for the holiday season and not for them sending their Christmas dinner pics to me. As much as, and I admitted this today, as much as I think it would be my sense of heaven. Imagine if you got like 100 odd pictures of Christmas dinners. Oh, I think I'll just do a rating scale. <laughs> Okay, I'll have that one, that one. One more trouble, that one. Where's the sprouts? I would do the whole, whole, whole range, absolutely. On the flip side, it's not always appropriate. Like, firstly, we're doing it through Christmas anyway. Not appropriate. But also, why take a break, right? So why would you want to take a break? Um, it's kind of, I will deploy this strategy through the year. Now, whilst I'm just deploying it through Christmas, it's actually a strategy that I will actually use with clients throughout the year for various different reasons, for various different outcomes. I will kind of touch in on Christmas a little bit through this because voila, it's Christmas Eve Eve. So why not Christmas Eve Eve, right? It's like saying it, just rolls, Christmas Eve Eve. So I will refer back to that. Oh, you love, oh, is that the green mush though? Is it the green mush, Kate? If it's the green mush, Kate, yes, I probably would love your sprouts. I think I'm just going to, I'm going to sit outside your letterbox and you can just push them out. No judgment, right? If nobody else knows what we're, nobody else knows what we're talking about, just message Kate, ask her about green mush. Hi, Mum. However, I will deploy this taking a break strategy throughout the year. In fact, I do it quite regularly with clients. Um, if and when it's appropriate. Yes, Kate. Uh, if it's appropriate for a client. Now, why would I um, firstly um, want to do it over Christmas? Well, I talked about it a bit yesterday is because uh, there's no need to de like think about scrutiny uh, rather than mindfulness over the, the Christmas and New Year period because let's all be honest, I'm a human being too and I will be eating and I, I don't think I'll be sending my pictures out to everybody. I'll be like, do you know what? I've been good. I haven't good all year, Santa. So guess what? I'm going to enjoy myself at Christmas. And if I'm a human being and do the same, it doesn't seem appropriate or fair, really, to to logically say to clients, well, you know what? Say no to this. Say no to that. If you want to keep saying weight, do this, this, and this, um, because that's not really appropriate. Um, and why though would I do it any other time of the year? Um, now, from experience and my own personal experience, and if you've done this yourself, you will know that. Um, to have a word this to lose weight or whatever it is from a health perspective to become healthier takes a lot of effort both physically and mentally and it can be exhausting actually if this is non-stop all year round sometimes seven days a week you know thinking about how to arrange christmases and not christmases sorry i've got on the brain uh how to arrange uh meals out to restaurants that has the food that that you know feels like fits in with what you're doing um thinking about what to drink when you go out because you want to get it right so you're still working towards your goals i think about that all year round that is exhausting like again why would i do it at christmas for that reason but also throughout the year i find that it's really appropriate to put the brakes on a client and often it's a real shock moment for them however i would have done this for a, a few reasons right so here's what I've learned at some point, at some point with all clients, if there is no strategic pause given to give release for the mental and physical effort required, they will create their own. So what do I mean by that? Or what happens? Well, firstly, what happens is someone stops losing weight. Now, theoretically, right, I've talked about this before, it's like the magic plateau theoretically right the same things are happening as far as as i'm concerned as a coach and the client is, is concerned i have a conversation no hell i'm training four times a week i'm still in the same food i'm sending all the pictures it's everything i'm sending to you i just don't know i've just stopped losing weight right um and that will go on for some time right some time is open to interpretation on the individual right um and what's really happening is that the client somewhere has consciously or unconsciously started to give themselves a break themselves 
Now that could be unconsciously to some degree um, because they haven't noticed that some of their behaviours have sneaked back in, but actually because they're exhausted mentally and sometimes physically as well, they start to give themselves a little bit of a treat or a little bit of reward or a little bit of a, a break from something. So they've worked so hard, so why not? Right, so this is where all the internal thought process is happening and usually is not being communicated with the coach. So it's kind of like, you don't, you've worked really hard, give yourself a little bit of a break, yeah, yeah. So before you know it, um, the client's not losing weight. Now, consciously, it might be happening as well because the client might be rebelling as well. That's always a, a common one. So actually, the client's like, show sure, I'm with this, I'm done. I'm just going to do what I want. I'll tell them I'm doing it or not really. And I'll go, oh, I don't know, I don't know I'm losing weight. Right, this happens, right? This is, this is human behaviour. And the thing, the reality with both of those, conscious or unconscious, is that actually there's a long period of time. Imagine, right, okay, so let's just say it's a year. Imagine you've been doing it for three years, non-stop. How likely are you to do that more often if you've been doing it for that long? Oh, hell of a lot more likely. So the thing is, is that what happens is the habits are changing and actually the client, whether they know it or not, is not taking accountability for it for various different reasons, right? So various different reasons are creating that. So it's not a magical plateau where fat stops coming off someone's body. It's more to do with habits and behaviours. So, so somebody has actually lost touch with the habits and behaviours because they're giving themselves a break. Um, so when would I as a coach deploy this? Uh, usually, and majority of the time, before that starts happening, right? I'll start to see some signs that maybe the client is, even if they're sending me a few food pictures every day, that maybe it's time to give them a break. Um, and I'll, I'll say what I perceive a break to be, and this will be in contact with Christmas as well, right? So when I say to a client, right, do you know what? I think it's time to take a break from, from losing fat. You usually see them go, if it's on camera in person, like, what? <laughs> even, no matter what's happening in behind the scenes of behavior, like, what the what? Hmm? And I'll, I'll say it, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain it like I explain it now. So I say, right, okay, I think it's important to take a break because I actually need to give you um, some kind of just release off the pressure you're giving yourself. And what I want you to do is maintain your weight over this period of time for the next two weeks. And by maintenance, I mean, I want you to stay within two to three pounds either way from where you are right now, okay? Now, that gives the client and you, if it's you, some kind of guidance about what that means. That doesn't mean I'm saying to them, go out and eat your body weight in green mush although I might if Kate was making it for me, or uh, eat 550 billion mince pies, why don't you, because I've said take a break. What I'm saying is that you know decisions you're gonna make, it's okay to take that time. I don't want to have a, a tight level of accountability over you because I want you to test the skills that you already have. I want you to listen to your body. I want you to make decisions and I want you to use this as a test time to, to actually use what you've learnt over the last X amount of months and then deploy it over a agreed period of time so you can learn something from this experience, right? So that's where it actually comes to how I've discussed it with clients for Christmas. And also if I discuss this outside of the Christmas period, it's for the same reasons and I place it in the same way for the same outcomes. Now, how I've just said two weeks, right? So how long depends on the client, right? It depends on how much they have confidence in their own abilities and skills, right? Because that varies. Like if a client doesn't have much confidence, they'll say, well, a week, say, okay. If a client probably does need a break and has already kind of given themselves a break, they'll usually say, well, about three or four. <laughs> okay, we'll touch base in between, we'll do weight checks and everything else. But okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that with you. I'm gonna give you the, the control on this, the reins on this. Because ultimately, if a client's rebelling or behaving in a particular way anyway, they're already taking back control of that. So as a coach, it's good to have that open conversation, right? So it's still strategic words. I feel like I used all my syllables. Strategic. Got it right again. Brilliant. <laughs> if it's strategic, then it's been agreed upon as an outcome. But like I talk about strategies, it's a recipe with an outcome. So both all the steps have been agreed between both parties and we know what we're aiming for. Now, <laughs> what? how long then after? Again, depends on the client and how they find that break, okay? And how often, because sometimes the client best, well, how often will we do this? And actually, it again, depends on the client because once they've experienced taking a break, or learning how to control the weight, because actually maybe there's some fear as well. I often find that as well. If I say to a client, take a break, immediately some of that, that response is because they're scared that they will put all the weight back on. 
um, and it certainly goes for Christmas as well. There's definitely some level of concern around some fears about, well, I'll end up doing what I did last Christmas. Um, and I'm really worried about that. And it's actually, well, actually give yourself a bit of a credit because you do, you've learned um, so much. And actually understand that. But once a client gains confidence of taking a bit of a break and then coming back to it um, and seeing that they can actually manage the weight. And it's not like a previous experience where they've tried something else and it's not worked and they've yo-yoed weight. Because they're working with us and we go back into what we were doing before with consistency and accountability etc uh, you find that actually they end up uh, losing more weight than they were in the first place at a rate because they're like actually i'm ready i'm ready to do this i've taken a psychological break i've come back to it i'm ready to go now again if once you understand it we say to quite right okay so you took a three week two three week break how did that feel? Great, fantastic. I learned that I could do this, this and this, and that actually uh, I'm not controlled by food, that actually I'm listening to my body far more than I was before. I understand now when I'm fuller, quicker, I know when to to balance against what how active I am. So fantastic, okay. So let's agree now on a period of time where we get back on it and get into to where you were before, before we agree another break, right? So it all depends on you as a person. The thing is I find often, um, all the time, well, often, with pretty much every single client I've worked with and I've said this before they'll often come to us having tried everything else in the book that means that when you think about it if you've tried everything there is and then you come to us you will always use those experience and compare to the existing like I've got to keep doing this forever I'm meant to do this if I stop doing it then I'm bad if I stop doing the things they tell me to I'll put weight on if I don't do everything I'm going to fail and that's anything to do with with positively encouraged completely different attitude to it however because of previous experiences that's what comes back but if you go back to what you learn if you take a break and really trust in what you've learned and test it without a coach hand holding for that period of time right um again so what do i commonly hear um i've learned that food doesn't control me i've learned that i don't have to always oh, is a good one in other words you know just again what you take a break from can be food, it can be exercise. I don't have to exercise all the time to manage my food, right? Um, that I've learned so much about nutrition that I can be confident that I'm surprised that I didn't just go and start eating everything, even though I had a choice to in my head, right? There's so much you can learn from taking a break. So then let's just apply that to Christmas. Like a majority of my clients, again, I've had this conversation and say, do you know what? You know what you're doing. You know, you know what's there. And I do think majority of us do as well that's not to elicit any guilt or say no you can't do this and you can't do that the thing is that the most of us actually know when we're starting to feel we've over ate or it's time to go out and go for a walk or do something a little bit active we all know that we often ignore it now you know i would hope pray a lot of our clients uh become aware of that because of the sport they get all year round so taking a break at christmas and taking a break throughout the year intermittently agreed strategically agreed with a coach with a plan um like absolutely endorse and that's why i've been uh talking to every single one of my clients about taking a break and appreciating like i said yesterday mindfulness over scrutiny okay so mindfulness over scrutiny about all your behaviors over christmas because taking a break is important and again not because i want you to come back like firing all cylinders shotgunning stuff in in the new year because i had another another client sent today uh, I can't remember if Sean was actually, which is good. Um, she said, um, I'm concerned that I'll come back in January and I'll jump on the bandwagon like I've done every year before, which is like, it's it's January. And she said it. I, I'm going to do live on this. I love the fact she, she took my title. New year, new me. I'm scared I'm going to do that, Helen. I'm like, that's not what I want either. What I want to come to is actually just come back to it with a fresh mindset, a bit of a break mentally from it right mentally taking a break from always thinking about it is actually kind of blissful for some people so you come back to it we'll create a new plan in the new year you know exactly where to go we'll catch up we just get everything in place just go on as you were before right so it's okay she's like yeah okay yeah yeah i, I won't feel like i'm gonna lose like a stone in a month so i was like no because you know you're in a different place now and your behaviors would have changed trusting what you've learned over the last few months you know, getting a stone over christmas Mwah, right that would be a lot right coming to which right I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Um, and well, I will be seeing you, but you will see me before the new year. However, I do want to say a, a Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, I know that the, I would say this for the whole team. Uh, I know the team have, have appreciated uh, everybody's support throughout the year. Um, I think a lot of uh, clients have thanked us 
uh, for for actually um, for helping them through this year. And I think the team would as much uh, come back and say, well, actually, a lot of you guys have helped us through the year in lots of ways that you you've not known. So actually, a big thank you to all of you. Uh, I'm sure for myself and the team for supporting us in lots of ways that, that as I said, some of you guys will, will never know. So thank you, a very heartfelt thank you for all your support this year. Uh, now, I'm, I'm going to be going to do my Christmas shopping, so you may not actually see me again uh, for this year or ever. <laughs> it's a take, I'll be taking a break, but you'll never see me because I'm, I was lost in a shopping trolley somewhere over at Foss Park. <laughs> Send help if anybody doesn't see me again. So I will be back on the... Uh, 29th Tuesday the 29th yes I will be and um, to talk about new year new you most likely um or new year's resolutions for sure because it was a good time to do that That's, that seems like far ahead though so in the meantime have an absolutely fantastic Christmas and I will see you soon